Hi, and welcome to the third anniversary of the Secret Healer books. And I want to say a great thank you to Tina Reffler for a really difficult question, <laughs> but lots and lots of support over the past three years. So thank you very much for your support, Tina. I'm not actually sure if I'm saying thank you for this because I've had to really think hard about what I feel uh, is the answer to this. It was a great question. She says, is a plant grown for essential oils better grown in its native area or does it depend on various factors well I, i'm going to take the easy way out and say it does depend on various factors so <laughs> here's a here's a little analogy right so um yesterday or the day before we had the exciting news that uh prince harry is going to get married to Meghan markle and uh oh my goodness she's going to be so beautiful as a bride isn't she and when i was getting married um i was having my i had in fact i had my wedding hair practice the day that um william and catherine got married and I went to the, uh, the dressmakers to have my dress altered and she was very excited and she was going to close the shop early because she had been sitting really, really close to the TV to watch exactly what Catherine's wedding dress was like. And she was going to sew all night to have the same dress in her window. So, is it the same thing? It looked the same? It was in the um, the price range of, of people in Brown Hills, which is where I bought my got my dress altered, which is quite um, it's not a very wealthy area, but they could have a dress just like um, the, like Catherine's. It probably wasn't finished to the standard of Catherine's. I'm guessing that hers was probably made of silk. I can't remember, but it probably was. And I'm sure the same is going to happen when Megan gets married, that the world will want the same. And to a certain extent, I think it's a bit like that with essential oils. Of course, the if you want to be emulating the shaman, then you kind of want that one plant that grew in the same one spot that he grew it and that the sun comes around at a certain time and it suffers exactly the same challenges as that shaman had so you can replicate that effect but you can't do that <laughs> there's just not enough there's just not enough plants in the world so so no as long as you have got a tea tree that's a decent tea tree then it doesn't matter that it wasn't grown at the corner of Ayers Rock and please don't message me and say as rocks in the middle of the jungle of the desert you know what i mean so and to a certain extent the tea tree is grown in kenya um because there is one side of the mountain that gets so much sun that nothing grows there but tea tree does oh we've got a plane this time So, uh, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, so on this side of the mountain, only tea tree will grow. Now, that tea tree, A, brings medicine to the area, but it brings jobs to the area. It brings wealth to the area. It means that they can um, be better irrigated because these are poor, poor places. So, do we care that it didn't come from Australia? I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, there will be... There are exceptions to the rule. So, for example, helichrysum, Corsican helichrysum is going to be better for skin healing. So I want the Corsican helichrysum. But if I can't see a real reason why one is better than the other, then no, I don't care. I'm going to buy it as long as it's ethically sourced. So I hope, I don't know. I hope that answers. The, um, I think there will be cross uh, references Tina with a question that I'm going to answer on another video about sustainability and so you might want to watch that but in the meantime thank you for your question and I'm going to send you a thank you present so please can you send me your details of where to send it <laughs> 